I've owned the 7th gen iPad for quite some time now, but my younger brothers used it most. One of them ended up cracking it, and I know a lot of you have experienced uh, something similar. So in today's video, I'll be showing you an alternative option to uh, taking it to Apple or a third party to get the screen replaced. Coming up. So I bought this screen replacement on Amazon for $65.99. There actually doesn't seem to be very many sellers selling this, and uh, prices range pretty drastically. On top of that, there aren't many reviews on any of these. So just make sure when you're looking for one, I'll leave the one that I got in the description. If it's not available, just do your research and try to find the best one you can. So hopefully this video provides an in-depth and easy to follow process to make sure that it works well and saves you a lot of money. I say it's definitely worth the savings if you can do it yourself because Apple charges $249 for their repair. Uh, I'm sure you can find it a little bit cheaper at third parties, but with this screen only being $65, you'll save maybe 200 bucks. In fact, there have been times that Apple has sold this iPad for cheaper than the screen replacement cost. Let's go ahead and get into the replacement. All right, so getting into it, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, power this device down. As you can see, the screen is pretty cracked, so uh, hopefully at the end of this process, it'll be looking brand new. And once the device is all the way powered down, the next step in the process would be to heat up the edges of the screen, uh, and that's gonna help us uh, remove the screen. That being said, you're supposed to be doing that with a heat gun, and uh, I know that a lot of you who are doing this on your own don't have a heat gun, so what we'll do is, is try to use a blow dryer and then go from there. And really quickly, some tools actually came with the screen replacement as well as a, basically like a pair of tweezers. Uh, so we're gonna try to be doing everything with just everything that came in the package. So we'll move that away for now and uh, start heating up this display. That should be enough. I can kind of feel, I saw the screen maybe lifting a little bit. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get these tools right here. We'll open them up. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna try to use is this suction, suction cup right here. Also keep in mind the uh, connection area is located right down this side. So be cautious when you're dealing with, with this area. All right, so. Seems like the edge is still pretty secure. Some of you may not have a screen to where I can lift up from here, so I'm gonna try not to utilize uh, lifting it from there. Should look like it started separating a little bit. Yep, there it is. All right, and should be getting in here soon. So basically, just continue working your way around the screen until you have an area to where you could slide something underneath. So let's continue. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just slide this in there to hold our place. Now, as you can see, the problem with my screen is that it's very cracked here along the edges. So it's gonna be difficult to get this off cleanly. Okay, right now I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit more uh, heat. Hopefully try to pry some more of that glue out. Okay, so now we have a pretty solid chunk being lifted. All right, let's uh, go ahead and once again follow around the edges to try to loosen stuff up. I'll lift this up. Okay, making progress. All right, let's go ahead and continue down this line on this side. All right.
All right, so basically after a lot of effort, we finally got this screen off here. We also need to uncover some screws that are up there. So we need to go and get the rest of that off. So I'm gonna flip this back over. Shake the glass off my fingers. So here we are, uh, after repeatedly going back with the blow dryer to uh, prying a little bit more, uh, we finally got it to where the top up here is clean, the bottom is as well, and then this screen uh, lifts up entirely. So the next step would be to unscrew this LCD. Okay, so what we wanna do, we wanna hold the screen up because of the um, connection that's right there. Uh, we don't want it to overbend, so we're just gonna put this uh, box right here just to kind of give it a little bit of support. And then from there, what we need to do, we have four screws that we need to undo. They are just uh, Phillips head. Uh, the screwdriver came, I mean the kit came with a couple different heads. I believe this will be the one. So let's go ahead and unscrew all four of these. And make sure you're putting pressure down as you push. You don't want to strip any of these screws. So apply a lot of pressure in that, in that first bit. Okay, there's one. Number two is underneath here, so, but we need to expose it. All right, so there's number two. We're gonna organize these in the order that uh, they come out. So if in the bottom left corner, I'm gonna put that there, the bottom right, I'm gonna put that there, and then these two I'm gonna put right there and there, just so we can remember when we uh, put them back in, because some of these screws might be different. Make sure to continue to apply pressure while unscrewing. Okay, and then last one's right here. I have a piece of tape underneath here to kind of keep this from moving, um, but it's kind of offsetting this iPad. But pressure and twist. So really quickly, I made a mistake of uh, pulling out uh, this screw, so the other, the fourth one that we need to do is underneath here, and that also needs to be exposed. Okay, let's go ahead and expose this fourth one. All right, so all four screws are undone. Now we should be able to slide something underneath uh, this LCD to pry it up. Pry this side up. Let's go back over here. A card or something uh, longer and thinner would work a lot better here, but all right, there it is. So now that it kind of popped up, we can go to lift, lift this up, just straight that way. I'm just gonna blow off some of the glass. What you wanna go ahead and do first is disconnect the battery. So to do that, that's right here. We're gonna unscrew this little screw right here, okay. Pull that out, just remember that's for the battery. After removing that screw, we want to go ahead and stick something under here to disconnect the battery. Um, I'm gonna use something a little thinner, uh, this, this library card, to hopefully uh, try to stick it under there. And, okay, that should be enough, it should be disconnected. But in order to find out, we'll go ahead and pull this screen down and attempt to turn on the display. Okay, and as you can see, it is not turning on. So we'll put that back up. Now we need to leave that in place. The next step would be this cover right here that is Phillips head as well. You have three screws there. So go ahead and do all of those. All right, so now we have this plate that comes off. We'll go ahead and set that aside next to those screws. All right, so now that this is, so now that the metal cover is removed, we can go ahead and disconnect the LCD just by pulling up on that, and the LCD is disconnected. We can go ahead and set this aside. Now we can go ahead and remove the uh, home button connector. So here we have this foam piece uh, that would need to be removed. Okay, and then now that that is removed, we can just set that aside for now. So as you can see, I removed this uh, little sticker, uh, I guess for protection over the home button uh, connector. Uh, basically how this works is that uh, from here, this lifts up and then you should be able to slide this out. And then uh, 
From there, when you reassemble it, you slide this back underneath and you should be able to shut it down. So you want to firstly pry that up, pull that out, and then you should be good to go. And then we can go ahead and remove these two that connect the digitizer. You can just use your fingernail or whatever you prefer. And now that that's done, uh, should be all fully disassembled. Next step would be to disconnect the home button from the screen and put it onto the new screen, which I haven't pulled out yet. But let's go ahead and disconnect that from here. So this just pulls up like this. Okay, should be able to kind of just follow it along. All right, let's put that underneath here. And you're gonna continue. You wanna make sure that you're not putting too much tension on, uh, on these wires, but as you can see, the glass was so messed up that it kind of came with the assembly. So next, let's continue to remove what we can off of this. Uh, now we have the home button completely disconnected. I adjusted the lighting, so uh, hopefully we can kind of see things a little bit better. But now that this home button assembly is disconnected, uh, we're going to need to uh, place it onto the new screen. So we're all done with this screen. We can go ahead and get rid of it, and uh, I'll pull the uh, new screen assembly on now. Now, if your screen looked anything like mine, you're probably going to have shards of glass. It would be ideal to get a handheld vacuum and vacuum that up. And you're probably also going to have a fair bit of glass on the uh, inside of the iPad case. So uh, I would go ahead and kind of uh, vacuum that up a little bit as well. All right, perfect. So we have most of the glass taken care of. Um, there will probably still be a couple bits and pieces here and there, but that will get cleaned up later. So here we have the new digitizer. Get rid of that. So it looks pretty nice. And uh, it has the uh, two connectors that are needed. So what we'll go ahead and do is place this home button assembly onto this. And the reason why I slid it under this is because I want to make sure that I'm not touching uh, the back of this screen uh, before final assembly. So now it's still protected. So before we put everything back together, uh, you're going to want to clean out the edging of this metal case. Uh, and the reason for that is because this comes pre-glued and when you peel this blue thing off and you slide everything back together, uh, you want to make sure that everything's going to be flush and you don't want anything pushing up on the display. So let's go ahead and, and clean the edges of this with a razor blade. What I would probably do is uh, warm, it, warm it back up with the hair dryer, so let's do that. Also, this is easier if you have some uh, goo gone. You can go ahead and just get a paper towel, fold it up a couple times, make it uh, to where you have a, a nice edge, just like so. And then what I would do, I would spray just a little bit onto this edge and then go around wiping it on. And then going back with the razor blade and clearing it off. So uh, that should make it easier. Make sure not to get goo gone in, in any other place other than the outside area. All right, so after removing all the glue, you would then go around with an alcohol wipe uh, and then make sure that it's uh, kind of clean all throughout. So let's go ahead and get this assembled. Also on a side note, some of you may have damaged the uh, casing, uh, which as you can see, I have here. Um, I would probably try to uh, extend that out somehow or just lightly tap it with the back of this and try to make it smooth again. Uh, that way the, the screen should fit nicely. So I'm gonna go and try to do that now. All right, so all I did to fix that was uh, Take this, hit it a few times with the back of the knife, and it kind of moved a bit, and I think it should be good now. Also, so a quick tip, uh, I get some rolled tape, put it on the bottom like that, and that usually helps the iPad uh, pretty much stay in place. So, let's go ahead and get this connected. So I just removed the cover uh, that was over here, just so I can kind of see what's going on. So, uh, basically, like I said, you lift this up. Now that that's exposed, you're able to just slide this, it should just slide it right underneath. Now that that's in there, we can go ahead and shut this. Connect the other two.
now the digitizer is fully connected uh, this foam part uh, this goes kind of right over there we're gonna leave it out here for now let's go ahead and set this set that up and connect the LCD the LCD is now connected now we can go ahead and reconnect the battery let's see what happens if we try to uh, power it on all right that is a good sign all right let's check it out let's see all right and there you go you can actually see that the digitizer is working let's go home let's go and put the brightness down so you can kind of see what I'm doing over here so here you can actually see that it is working and responding really well. It's actually really neat how this works. Super cool to see. So now that we know everything is working, lift the screen back up, put everything back together, and then continue from there. Let's get this back on. Another quick tip to magnetize your screwdriver, there's some magnets over here. Just rub them on there and you should be able to pick up the uh, small screws. Perfect, so now that that's connected, let's go ahead and get the battery screw back in. So let's lay this back down and drop it into place. All right, so now it's time to put these screws back in. Now we need to clean off this LCD. I would once again use an alcohol wipe for that. So once you have the screen as clean as you can get it, ideally try not to get as many fingerprints on it as I did. You can use some Windex or alcohol to clean it best. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and peel off all of these blue pieces uh, to expose the glue. And finally, once all of those are peeled, we'll go ahead and double check the screen, make sure there's nothing on it. And we'll just peel uh, this protector off of here. Once that's off, let's go ahead and put this all back. push and press into place. Let's go ahead and see if this thing uh, actually works. All right, it's powering on. Let's peel this off. Let's put the brightness up. There we go. Nice, a little bit lower. And it looks to be working just fine. And there you have it. Let me know in the comments if you were able to do it successfully. And if not, let me know what issues you're having and I'll try to help. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you enjoy tech and like saving money, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in a bit.